YouTube is 500. Rachel McAdams, videos. not Amy Adams. I'm sorry, Rachel McAdams. Oops. But we can definitely take out the Trapped in the Sea Kingdom Desert Bus 2020. All right. Boy, I hope we're, Rachel uh, McAdams isn't watching. I feel like such a butt. <laughs> we're we're ready for some. Well, you can uh, you can feel like a butt to the soothing sounds of of fiddle. Cause it's time yeah. for uh, Max to drop some quality. You know I will. <laughs> <laughs> there's one thing my music evokes is the feeling of being a butt. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We haven't given away the sheet yet. No, sheets sheets later. Sheets yeah. later. Yeah. Sheets like two, sheet. Oh, I, sheets I, I, I get you. Sheets ahead. I don't Poop understand. joke. Poop joke. Uh, understanding is a secondary, secondary consideration at this point. All right. Uh, this is a piece that I started writing yesterday, right after the Seattle Garages con uh, concert. Which, if you didn't catch, you should definitely go back. That was later yesterday. On. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Surely that was a week ago. I mean, <sighs> if it was a week ago, I, I would have written more songs. I think. <laughs> uh, but I started it yesterday. I finished it uh, today before the stream. Uh, this is called "Game Day at the Hellmouth" because I'm a big Sunbeams fan. In uh, in Blazeball. Uh, I posted the sheet music to uh, to this onto Twitter uh, before we went live. It's been retweeted by the Blazeball Commissioner, and I, my Twitter notifications are going wild. Um, but yeah. Nice. I mean, I assume not like super wild compared to the sort of uh, volume you guys get, but you know. Oh, like when a new tree folk gets spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is game day at the Hellmouth. Uh, two uh, main inspirations for that piece. One is obviously uh, take me out to the ball game, but in a minor key, uh, and the other one being uh, summer from Vivaldi's Four Seasons. 
Oh, nice. uh, specifically the sort of slow and fast combination, which is a piece I was studying when I was uh, studying for my grade 10 uh, role conservatory. Oh no, Ian, your data has been moshed. No, no! Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, hello. There we go. Lovely. Swipe it off. Yeah. Just got to induce those keyframes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, Excuse me. A... The other piece I was thinking of playing tonight was uh, Waltzing Matilda. Oh, yeah. Veteran. I'm always a fan. Yeah. Uh, Australia's unofficial national anthem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I won't say the other usual bit because... Uh, that I say when I, I'm talking about this piece because it involves swears, but... <laughs> Waltzing Matilda <laughs> is to Australia as Log Driver's Waltz is to Canada. It's more than that. It's much more yeah. than that. Uh, like, we sung that in school, in, like, primary school. Uh, it's it's everywhere. We sung it probably more than the Australian National Anthem. <laughs> wow. Only cool Canadians know the Log Driver's Waltz. Uh, fair yeah. enough. Like, Blue I didn't find out says, the... Sorry, uh, Blue Chloroplast says the, ve the Vegemite song. Well, there, there is that one, but sure, th why not? Th there's, there's the other one that the Aussies sang at us when we were at PAX Australia that has a lot more swearing, <laughs> which is probably the one Max is talking about, but I don't know. Uh, more, I mean, the, the lyrics to uh, Waltz and Matilda don't involve swears, just the way I usually describe it. Oh, we're getting a um, couple people saying, what's the log driver's waltz? Ooh, <laughs> oh, 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 my. oh, mama. We'll share that with you later. Yeah. Yeah. Be be before we do, actually, and I don't again, I don't want to put you on the spot next. Do you know the Long Drivers Waltz? I don't actually. I should look. That okay, up. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna make you make a note to myself. Uh, Long Drivers Waltz I is actually our national anthem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I've made a note. Uh, I'll try and find some cheap music. Uh, I could probably sight read it if someone can source that, but I don't know actually how well it translates to solo fiddle because I. It's been a while since I've actually listened to it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I do think Waltz and Matilda is much more ingrained than the Log Driver's Waltz is. It. Uh, that's that's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Because I didn't find out about the Waltz Drivers, Log Drivers Waltz until many years after I moved here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I um, guess it's it's got to be if you if you saw it when you were younger. Yeah. Then, I, yeah. I just didn't want to dip into YouTube when we have a Max here with us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, I don't know if somebody out of chat can like maybe source some music. I could do a site read. Probably be, probably be not that bad. See what I can do. Yeah. In the meantime, hit us up with them Billy Bongs. You want to take that one again, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> sure don't. <laughs>
Vibing, man, I love yeah. the so much. I loved all the uh, sal- all the salutes you were getting in chat from the from the Aussies and others, yeah. I believe. But certainly, yeah. I think my my two favorites of those were uh, all Australians, please rise for your national anthem. Yeah, uh, and then after that, all Australians, please sway for your national anthem after a couple of tinnies. <laughs> oh, I, uh, one of our mods, Omega Laron, who who is Australian, was like, "How did this tinny of Victoria Bitter just appear in my hand?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look under your seats. It's yeah. full of okay beer. <laughs> well, I, guess, oh, I wouldn't like, go that far. <laughs> it's it's I'm it's actually polite. like used for the Australian civilization in Civ. And someone was yeah, like, I'm that's... playing Australia in Civ right now and I tabbed out to stop and listen. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the level that uh Walter Matilda's on in Australia. Like that it is used in place of our national anthem in video games about Australia which Log Driver's Waltz mm-hmm. is not. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I suppose an argument in that realm could be made for the uh, Hockey Net in Canada theme song to oh, an yeah. extent. Mm, yeah. I mean, is that still current? Uh, so Matt might be able to explain better what happened with that. Uh, so the Hockey Night in Canada theme was for ages uh, used by Hockey Night in Canada mm-hmm. on the CBC. And then there was, like, a whole fracas. I don't remember exactly what went on, but um, basically the CTV bought it. Yeah, TSN owns it now. It was, it was like, it was licensing TSN? rights to the music. Yeah. <clears throat> and so they took it. So, like, Hockey Night in Canada is still on CBC, I believe, but uh, the the theme song now has gone to TSN, I guess. Yeah. Wow. So TSN uses it for, like whatever the name of their hockey coverage is. Mm-hmm. And then Hockey Night in Canada on the CBC has different music, which is like... <laughs> you know, as a taxpayer, I I actually am kind of upset about that. Right? Like, yeah. That was, my, that was at least a small portion of my theme song. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So the Wikipedia article. Ah, thank you. Theme music. 1952 to 1968, the television show's original theme song was Saturday's Game, a march composed by Howard Cable. Uh, The CBC and the advertising agency responsible for the broadcast at the time, McLaren Advertising, later replaced the tune with the Esso Happy Happy Motoring song. Right, that's, yes, Esso, because it was Esso Hockey Night in Canada. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then 1968 to 2008, the hockey theme. So the companies later commissioned the composition of yet another theme, the hockey theme, Composed in 1968 by Dolores Clamon and orchestrated by Jerry Toth, the CBC's mm-hmm. most recent license to use the hockey theme expired at the conclusion of the 2007-08 NHL season. Clamon's publisher issued a statement on June 4th, 2008, claiming that the CBC had informed them it would not be renewing its rights to the composition. CBC uh... sports head Scott Moore denied the report, saying that the CBC wanted to keep the song and that negotiations on a new license agreement for the stra- song were still ongoing. In the early evening of June 6th, 2008, <clears throat> the CBC announced it could not reach an acceptable agreement to renew its license to the uh, outrage of some viewers across the country. It was a big Perpet- deal at the time. It was a big deal. Uh, perpetual rights to the hockey theme were subsequently picked up by CTV, which began using So I was right, it was CTV at the time. Yep. 
uh, which began using it for hockey broadcasts on its TSN and RDS sports channels beginning yeah, in the 08-09 yeah, season. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's right. Uh, the theme would also later be featured during, during the closing ceremonies of the 2010 Olympic Games, aired right. on CTV. Right. The CBC said it had offered nearly $1 million for perpetual rights to Clayman's theme, but that copyright music was asking for $2.5 to $3 million for those those rights. Oh, it's held by a copyright holding house. Yeah. Uh, well, copyright the music <laughs> turned it down because it was a settlement that barely covered our legal bills, let alone losses. End quote. One proposed payment method would have allowed the CBC to continue using the theme at a cost of $500 per play for a total cost of $65,000 annually while not actually giving CBC ownership of the music despite being uh, contacted by five parties interested in buying the theme. uh, Copyright music had no desire to start a bidding war. Moore has been quoted as saying, we have no real idea why the deal fell apart. We're not sure why because the other side hasn't communicated with us. Yet copyright music states that Moore gave them an unrealistic deadline of 24 hours to meet him when his client was five time zones away. Come on. (laughs) Lock that song up in the vault until Lady Liberty herself busts in with her two bare hands and (laughs) frees it into the public domain. This is one of those things that, like, the federal government of Canada should just... Regal privilege. (laughs) They did that with... Let's have the crown just confiscate it. They did that with Peter Pan, I think, uh, where the copyright for Peter Pan is, has been like permanently assigned to a children's hospital. Yeah, well, that's oh, really? that's that's thanks that's, to yeah. the that's thanks to uh, the the author Jan Barry, mm-hmm. um, because it's the the children's hospital, um, it's the orphans' home from from the book. It's the uh, Great Ormond yeah. Street uh, Children's Hospital. I believe, yeah, but I, yeah. Hmm. but I believe the interesting, or well, one of the interesting things about that is that they wrote it, it into copyright law as, as a specific exception huh. to the way that copyright law normally works, and it doesn't expire, from what I understand. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I do. So have, that's that's uh, how they that's how they that's how that particular uh, children's hospital makes a lot of their money <laughs> is by licensing <laughs> uh, Peter Pan. Well, that yeah. Huh. I uh, have, so uh, the log driver's waltz here. Yeah, Max is going to give an attempt at the uh, log driver's waltz, Ooh, which I'm yeah. thrilled to hear. And we'll we'll give we will we will give the original a listen afterwards, regardless. But <laughs> I'm 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 very excited to hear this, Max. Yeah, with, with this a will, polite separation. Bit, <laughs> yes, this will be a yeah, bit yeah. of a discovery for me because I haven't actually listened to the log driver's waltz as much and can't picture the tune in my head. So oh, I'm just going to wow. play what's on the page and we'll find out how it goes. <laughs> All right. Great. <laughs> Was oh my gosh! Yeah. As, so, as soon as I started really playing, good. I was like, "All right, that's how that's how that goes." Yeah. For a real yeah. slight read, that's that was amazing. That was terrific. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, thank uh, you. Is there anything else you want me to play while you got me up here? On my uh, place, or... I, I, that's probably fine for tonight, but let's All have right. you back tomorrow. I will absolutely yes. look up some fiddle songs before the next time you yeah. come. Could, uh, are, I can also yeah, share like, my... Oh, go ahead. What's that, Ben? Oh, I was just going to ask. Yeah, I was going to say, Brownie Points actually literally posted my favorite video game song of all time. Uh, that I'll try and find. You don't have to do it, but it, I, I will yeah. send it to you. And if you feel yeah. like learning it, then I'll, and please, yeah, I'll shoot it your way. Post your spreadsheet to at least the uh, the Slack so I can. Yeah, yeah I was there. about mm. to say, I will, I will share my, my giant spreadsheet. Uh, yeah. And I'll read my, my weird notes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And that way you can feel confident about what you play too. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the grizzly, the grizzly hills theme like melts me every time I listen to it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. Sweet. I shall well, thank you, man. Yeah. Retreat so much, once Vince. more into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit.